One of the most exciting use cases for reporting in Performance Max is to uncover new insights and tap into market opportunities you may not even have been aware of. This is where those supplemental reporting resources are especially useful. We don't have time to go over examples for all of these reports, so for this session, I'm going to walk through examples for Campaign Search Term Insight and Customer Search Term Insight. Campaign Simulation and Location View are no less important, and I encourage you to explore the API reference and brainstorm ways you can leverage these resources for your use cases. To give you the high-level summary, Campaign Simulation can help you understand how your Pmax campaigns might perform given different bidding inputs, and Location View allows you to look at your performance breakdown by location criterion. The new search term insight reports are available at the campaign and customer levels and support a number of use cases from understanding what categories of search terms are responsible for users discovering your website to thinking of new ways to appeal to your audience through relevant ad copy. We recommend starting with the customer search term insight report and for performance reasons, using the campaign search term insight report only once you've narrowed down your scope to drill deeper into the higher level insights. As an example, say we want to identify our top performing search term categories from the last seven days. We could query the customer search term insight report for category label, campaign resource name, clicks, and impressions to understand how performance looks across search categories segmented by campaign. Further, we could compare this to the same data from previous weeks to get a sense of which categories or search terms are trending up or down. Note that you can also get subcategory and search term data from this report, but not while segmenting by campaign. In other words, subcategory and search term specific metrics are only available in aggregate at the customer level. The report data might give us the following information, showing us the plant category label has 42 clicks and 394 impressions for one campaign, and 6 clicks and 432 impressions for another. That click-through rate for the first campaign is quite a bit higher than it is for the second, so that could be an opportunity to drill deeper into the performance data for that campaign and search category. It might be the case that our assets, audience signals, or components of our setup are reaching users in a way that we could leverage for other campaigns or for our website's landing page. Applying this in a Gackle query, we could leverage the campaign search term insight resource to look at how performance breaks down by asset group within that campaign and the plant category label.